everything you need to know if you're going to go to the Hotel Virginia Santa Barbara. We're going to show you around the room, the common areas of the hotel, and tell you how much we like jumping on the beds. The Hotel Virginia is a three-story hotel located one block off downtown Santa Barbara's main State Street. It's a classic building from 1909 that's been renovated very nicely. As you enter into the lobby from the street, it is a small but kind of charming check-in area, continues that historic feel of the hotel, but with a very nice remodel. One check-in desk in the back, there's a little mini market where you can get snacks, and then there's a bar on the back side of the lobby which also serves breakfast and coffee in the morning. All parking here is valet parking, there's a small lot on the side of the hotel, and then there's a second lot that's kind of like the hotel's courtyard. If you're looking for the quietest rooms in the hotel, get a room that faces this inner parking lot courtyard. There's no swimming pool or fitness center in this hotel. The only other common area is this balcony that's up on the second floor. This overlooks the valet parking lot. You could bring your breakfast up here or even some of the food you order maybe for dinner or maybe even some to-go food that you got from one of the nearby restaurants. Now that we've seen everything around the hotel, let's check out the inside of one of the rooms. This is room 322, a two queen bedroom up on the third floor. We're down at the end of the hallway, so hopefully our bed jumping doesn't bother anybody. Uh, there are some interesting lamps, as you can see. There's a phone that you would call the front desk, a floating headstand with a Qi charger right here to wirelessly charge your Android or iPhone device. If we spin around this way, there's a big flat panel television. There's this buffet down here that has a refrigerator that looks kind of like a, like a wine cooler almost. We are in wine country here in Santa Barbara, so it's an interesting fridge. You don't usually see fridges like that in hotels. That is nice. Uh, ice bucket, two glasses, and an empty drawer. There's a table to sit at right here with an oddly diagonal lamp and one chair. Out the window, what do we see? A little strip mall across the street. Coming back inside the room from the window, we've got the closet. It's like an open closet with a... This is the only closed part. And it looks like it should have a... Uh, there's an iron but there's no ironing board in there. There is a thing to put your luggage on there and one drawer, little tiny safe, like six hangers. Let's come in the bathroom. This is a nice big bathroom. This hotel's all recently remodeled and so I think this is like one of the most remodeled parts of the room. I like that they've made this big and bright big mirror here uh, and a walk-in shower. No bathtub, just a shower. But you know, pretty good size. I can stretch out in here. Nice tall ceilings too. But why is there no bathtub? There's no bathtub. Now that we've seen everything around the room, it is time for our review where we tell you the pros and cons and rate this hotel on a scale of one to five chofers. And so I am joined by Puppet Topher right here. <laughs> and the prince is gonna tell us how many tofers does this hotel get? Five. Four tofers! All right, so now let's talk about the pros and the cons of why this hotel got four tofers. First, pro, uh, great location. The fact that it is on State Street, but not on State Street. So State Street, the main street in Santa Barbara, very lively, lots of live entertainment, very noisy. And so the fact that this is a half block or block off of State Street means it's pretty quiet. Like we slept like little baby children. Well, she is a little baby children. Uh, but the adults here, we slept very well in this room as well. Great remodel, even though this hotel is 100 years old. They recently remodeled it one year ago, and it doesn't, they're like, they didn't miss anything, and they didn't cheap out. Even the air conditioner in the room, they put in a pretty expensive Japanese air conditioner, because I bet this room before probably had no air conditioning, especially since the windows open. Usually I don't like valet parking, but the valet parking here, because it's just literally right next to the hotel, was super speedy, super quick, so we didn't have to wait a long time for the valet parking. If you need a bike to get around, they have six bicycles that you can take out for free, so that's cool too. Overall, just a pretty good feel in this hotel. Now let's talk about the cons of why this hotel didn't get five tofers. Well, um... It doesn't have a swimming pool. It doesn't have a gym. The breakfast, although as Hilton Diamond members, we got $30 credit a day for breakfast. The restaurant downstairs, the breakfast, basically they like microwave the waffles and the avocado toast was uh, definitely had like some instant eggs on it. So for our second night, 
we actually got some food from a bakery that we paid for instead of having the free to us breakfast from this hotel. That's kind of how mediocre it was. Also, it's not next to the beach. You know, if you're coming to Santa Barbara, you might think, oh, I'm gonna have a beach hotel or I'm gonna have a view. This has neither the beach nor the view next to it, but we think the location makes up for it. If you're coming in on the Amtrak, you could easily just walk the two and a half blocks to get here. I mean, easily. It's probably a 15 to 20 minute walk, but it's definitely walkable. It's also walkable to the beach. The front desk staff told us it's an eight minute walk to the beach. I'm gonna peg it more around 15 or 20. And then just a final note on the remodel, I'm really happy to see a good remodel. You know, we recently stayed at the Fairmont Hotel in Victoria, Canada, which was an old hotel that they remodeled, but like they missed a lot of parts of it. Like the bathroom, they didn't remodel, it was tiny. And so I'm really happy they made the bathroom here like big and they clearly just like thought about this has to be a modern hotel. I would have loved some more water pressure and a handheld to wash this one, but you know, I can't have everything in a hotel. So, uh, oh, the final con, the price. <sighs> Santa Barbara, you know, it's expensive here. The going rate for this hotel, uh, the weekend in August we were here, $450 a night if we paid cash. We paid Hilton Honors points, so it was free to us, but you know, that's like Santa Barbara is just a really expensive town. I'm sure this hotel in the winter probably runs at about $150. And at $400, it was still much cheaper than all the other hotels in the area that were going for six, eight hundred, two thousand dollars $2,000 if you were at the Ritz Carlton tonight. Well, fellow explorers, if you're coming to Santa Barbara, you might enjoy our video right up here all about tips to visit Santa Barbara. You'll also find links in the description below to lots more of our videos. And as usual, we won't say goodbye because we're gonna see you in the next video.